Hello and welcome to another flight time entomology reference video. This time I catch uh, some damselfly nymphs, sometimes called naiads. Damselfly nymphs uh, live in the video areas of lakes and in the slower pools and rivers. They are smaller than dragonfly nymphs, but they hatch in far greater numbers, so they definitely more important for, uh, to us, to fly fishes. They have this long and thin body and six long spider legs. And they have these three very distinct fin-like gills at the tip of their abdomen, which help them be a very good swimmers. They are great swimmers. They're using this very specific sinusoid motion of the tail and together with these uh, fin like gills they can swim pretty fast i tried to record this on the on the camera but I had not much luck with the with the macro lens but uh, i did uh, at least a few seconds and this is how they swim they and they they feed in as ambush predators and they mostly, most of the time, hide in. Even they are all year round in the water, most of the time they hide in, in the vegetation and the waters with the dense growth of bottom to surface vegetation are usually full of them. But they are not so often exposed uh, to trout, but prior and during the emergence they they are they and uh, for several days before uh, the actual emergence they will do something what's called false starts and they will start the uh, ascent uh, and then settling back down to the bottom of the lake they will uh, do this for several days up and then fall down and then once they reach the surface uh, on the surface le uh, level, they they will swim toward the shore and crawl out of the water and emerge, and that's where they can be very important. And the trout will, if they if this is happening in great numbers, uh, trout will definitely target them, and it can be great event. This one here, I catch the this. These are about a little bit more than inch in length, and these are calopteryx. The, this is a genus of large or large damselflies, and these uh, you probably know them. The, these are the colorful, uh, or say the male is uh, usually colorful and it's usually blue metallic uh, look. And they also have colored wings, usually black, and or sometimes there's a strip of black, like partially black. The more muted females are usually have have clear wings usually, although some also develop the male wing characteristics. And this is uh, very common in uh, damselflies and then also the dragonflies that the female actually mimic the look of the male and the reason is that the sexual behavior of the, the males is very rough and they actually try to escape the copulation. Um, you can find so, several, you know, this is very, very, they, they are very, or they are maybe like 300 million years on planet Earth and they are very successful in reproduction. On the other other hand, the, the behavior is very, very rough. And they, they grab the females with its tail by the head and they find it like, sometimes like 80% of females have some hole in the head because they, you know, they, they, they mate in with several males and so the female started to avoid this and there are some genus where the females even play in death. They 
see the the male is coming and they fall down the ground and plain death and some of them just try to mimic the male so they are not so attractive to a male so they can escape some of these uh, attacks and copulations it's it's very very interesting uh, reading because what, what happened during these 300 million years of evolution they are basically the same they are just much smaller than they have been in the past um, and yes and it's I'm talking about uh, something different now so that's probably all and I just been trying to catch the, the big dragonfly I think it's called Emperor Dragonfly nymph by no luck I tried the last year and winter as well and this year again no luck but I catch these damn flies so I shoot it with some pictures of them and here it is so hope uh, some of you will find it useful and the alliance guys